<laughs> Welcome in to another edition. <clears throat> wow, that was awful. Let's start that again. Welcome in to another edition of the Players Lounge Georgia Letterman Show. You got Harry, you got Spider Man, Spider Man, you have the monster, Ben Jones. Sully. What's his name? Sully. Sully. Sully up in the right hand corner. Boykin, I think he's going to be a Chippendale. He's coming in soon. He, had, he didn't know that we were dressing up tonight. Stay, uh, stay for that, ladies, for sure. Yeah, yeah stay, stay for that. For that. Boykin yeah, with the shirt off. It, the ratings through the damn roof. So uh, welcome back in. Another great episode tonight. We're going to do a little rewind what we saw from this weekend's butt whooping versus the Florida Gators. We'll look ahead a little bit to Missouri. And then tomorrow night, we have the college football first playoff rankings coming out. Each one of us will give our top four teams in the country. All right, we got Boykin there. Oh, we got three Spider Men. Oh, oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> oh man, Did, how can hilarious. we like put names on everyone? All right, so top right, no Sean. TK's red. Boykin is. What, what, what's up with the Spider Man? I'm Miles Boykin. I'm Miles Morales. Yeah, you know, I'm OG, OG Peter Parker. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. You know how I get down. Hey, Kay's hey. in the chat says, take your shirt off, Brandon. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 I, can't, I can't see a whole lot with this. With the yeah, man, I'm, I'm about to have to pop my eyes out. <laughs> yep. Yo, shut up. You talking about that? I'm not joking, well, these man. damn things. Did you say Kevin or Katie? Because depending on which one, I may, I may just do it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm done with them. <laughs> Ben, ben went. Ben went from a a, uh, a sauna suit last week to this. This is right hotter. Now. Yeah, let's say what's hotter, Ben. This is way hotter. I'm dying. Ooh, Cooking over there. I'm dying. He just got there. I'm trying to be that naked cowboy. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, Don't do that. Goodness. Don't need Boykin embarrassing you. All right, let's get into it, boys. It was an absolute bloodbath. Georgia, a little bit slow start. Forty-three to twenty. End up pulling away. Uh, what about end of the first quarter? Kind of got a little bit ugly there for the Gators. I want to start with Boykin first. We start offense, offense, offense. I'm gonna throw it to, to the Spider Man in the left bottom corner here, Brandon Boykin. What was up when it when an offense comes out with their scripted plays like that, ten to fifteen, and they just get into a rhythm? Do you just kind of take it as a defense? Like, what, how do you slow the bleed? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, um, obviously, you know, the first ten plays are gonna be scripted, right? And so. Um, you're, they're giving you their best punch. And so um, I, I knew that, you know, they were going to come out with their best plays. And regardless of how that drive went, we had to settle down. And I think uh, I think we did just that. You know, my 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 challenge to to the defense this week was to get pressure and then to really challenge these receivers. And I think they did just that. We talked about how Ty Key was going to get a lot of work, man. He had a tremendous game, a yeah. tremendous game. And so um, – I think the biggest thing was that we, you know, we we got stops when we needed. I think that fourth down, um, that fourth and two that they were trying to convert that they didn't. I think it was like the score was like seven to ten at that point. You like, talking I about the halfback was, throw? When it, when yeah, it when, yeah. They, when they snapped it between the quarterbacks, leg, that was the biggest play of the game in my yep. opinion. Well, it was stupid. It was like it was like fourth and, and a half a yard. Just yeah, why they just sneak, you, sneaky, bro? Like, but you know they're gonna try something sneaky. You know, they, 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 to get they had two big plays: the, the double reverse in that one, where they get too cute. And I get that you got to pull, you know, pull pull some some tricks out some against tricks, the yeah. Georgia when you're. But they were moving the ball well. I was a little bit shocked that they kind of went to the bag that early in the game with some of the trickery. As I'm uh, Mr. Harry Potter here talking about trickery. Uh, <laughs> let, let's move to the offensive side of the football. Mm. McConkey oh, TK, mm-hmm. Ooh, McConkey. Lad my goodness, McConkey. I don't know if it's just because he's white, but every time he pulls away from defenders, I'm always shocked. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, uh, you know, I I said it before and I'll say it again. The dude is extremely special and you see it. You see a healthy what a healthy lad McConkey can do. Um, and and him catching that ball. And like you said, getting away from those guys is not something mm-hmm. that we're unfamiliar to. Um, he's, he's done it on jazz sweeps several times. Uh, he did it last year in the Auburn game. He's, he, but it's, um, I'll tell you what, it is damn good to, to see him doing it. Um, and see him back for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, Ben, Ben, no, Sean, did that answer the questions of what this offense can be without, without Brock Bowers? I'll start with Ben first. 
Yeah, I think we gave Carson all day. He converted. Mm -hmm. He threw good passes. And no sign, your boys are balling. They're running the rock. Mm -hmm. hey, good day for the boys. Is that, are you happy, Carson? Is that what you wanted? Reads. We're going to mm. win a lot of games, boys. Mm. I agree. Boy, can, yeah. I, yeah. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, Ben. Them boys are running that thing uh, in this game. I mean, how can't you get up for this kind of game, this atmosphere, right? We talked about it last week about mm -hmm. the atmosphere this Georgia, uh, Florida game, right? So um, the boys came out to play for sure. I love the way that they, uh, Coach Bobo called this game. A lot of, uh, you know, motions, a lot of um, – the tight end flashing across the ball, you know what I mean? And then we're running it the opposite way. I, I felt like the play call in this game was, was tremendous. And uh, they got everyone the rock that needed to get the rock and they made plays with it. You saw it with Lad, you saw it with, you know, Ra, you saw a lot of guys actually, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So um, it was a really, it ended up, you know, yeah. I think, I think, that's, I think that's he what... played, he yeah, and in the, in the, in the, well. the comments, want to say, she, what about that catch by Dell? And make yeah, sure you, you put your comments in the chat. We'll be reading comments throughout the day. That was a <laughs> Moreno, Brock, up, Brock Moreno. Bauer S right there, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Brock Bauer's S right there. That catch from, from Oscar Dell for so, sure. For sure. What, and I think the one thing that Carson does so well this entire season is like, yeah, the offense goes through Brock, but everyone eats though. At the end of the day, like you look at the stat sheet every single game, there's like Six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys that, had, that that touch the football when it comes to receiving. Like Bobo does a good job of, hey, you want to take Brock away? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of push it around. Like everyone's going to have their day. It was Lad's day this past week. Right. Uh, the previous week it was Dominic Dominic's game. Ra Ra's had his moments. Like mm -hmm. you're starting to see now, all of a sudden again, going against this offense of, of who do you want to stop? Because you want to stop him. All right, we'll come in with our, our second guy and our third guy and our fourth guy and. And, and like Ben said, they're running the ball so well right now that you got to put guys in the box too. Uh, ben, there's no question that that was the better of the two offensive lines in that game. Was that their best game? By far. Um, I think Trust coming back from that ankle injury, we were all kind of like, all right, is he going to play? Because he got rolled up in the previous game. He came out. He played extremely hard at right tackle. We still don't have Mims back. But as at all, they protected. And when you can protect in this <clears> league – and give time to the quarterback. If he can go through all that, you're not going to be able to cover our receivers for that long. Mm -hmm. Then they were able to mash them when they needed to. And when you're able to run the ball in the red zone, you're going to win games. It makes yep. it easier for the quarterback. And when you're able to run the ball in, it makes your offense um, pretty much unstoppable. Hey, TK. Cool. Yeah. We, we – uh... We taking that touchdown in the backfield too with Bell, by the way. Negative. You, know? you see, you see, you see. You see. Ah, ah. negative. You see, you, you see, he still got that eight six on. I was still though, bro. I mean, he mm -hmm. can take too many carries back there not to be a back now. Nah, he, he is what he is. He he is what he is. And, <laughs> and I, wish, out, I, wish, I, I wish I could do a poll. Shut I wish I could do a poll on this thing because I would love to know what the fans think: running back or receiving touchdown. I'm gonna go with receiver. He's he's I'm with yeah. TK this one. As long as he's walking the 86, he's a receiver. That I is bring very Bo true. I'll give you that I, one. I want to bring Boykin back in this because we're talking about the offensive lines. Florida got there, but whooped Start. by our defensive line. Like that was the big question for me. The defensive backs are great. We know that, but can you get pressure? Can you stop the run? Your thoughts about that, that, that front seven, that front four? I thought they came to play. I mean, I think I thought that in order for us to win this game, like they had to have a dominant game and start and start fast early. And it's like I know we're talking about Florida, right? But like this couldn't have happened at a better time, in my opinion, because next, like next week, <laughs> you you have a pretty similar situation going on. In well, mm -hmm. Brady Cook can actually run the you know, run the ball, you know what I'm saying? And so, yep. um, my, my thing is like the consistency, right? And 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 we're all players, right? Like we know that the game isn't one on Saturday; it's one on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. And everybody talked about how like. The players were kind of talking about how great of a week they had of practice this week leading up to Florida. And so I think there's just kind of been like a standard set. We always say that, like, once you come back from the bye week, right, when you when you get into that second half of the season, we really lock in, right? Like, because we know, like, this is the stretch that's going to take us where we want to go. Mm -hmm. So my hope is that they've hit that stretch and they hit that standard for Florida and we don't backslide. Like we played Kentucky, played well, and we went to Vanderbilt and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Eh. And so my hope is that like, we don't backslide. This is the standard. We go forward because I think I would imagine the game plan for, for Mizzou is going, they're going to, they're going to probably 
try to get Luther Burton the ball as much as he possibly can, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, they're sure. not going to try to run the ball against us. But at no. the same time, we are going to probably try to make Brady Cook uh, flush him out of the pocket and put, like, a linebacker spy on him to make him uncomfortable. Like, no. So uh, we did that in the past against the Tennessee team last year. So I think, uh, you know, we got to we gotta do the same thing as we come consistently, yeah. get, off, get off the field on third down and win a turnover battle, dog. That's going to be yeah. the big one. All right. you, know what I, you know what I liked about it, too? I mean, I know we we haven't got many sacks for Georgia. You know what I mean? But, bro, did it not put a lot of pressure on Mercs? Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. front four. four sacks this game. Yeah. You know what great. I'm saying? Bro, okay. come on. Loved it. That 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 being said, I mean everybody even in the comments were talking about how fluid everything looked offensively. Defense looked great. Mm-hmm. What what? And this I guess I'll open this up for everybody. What if anything has you guys uh, you know kind of kind of flustered, or if anything has you flustered? Um, what 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 part of our offense, defense, whatever, what part of this team? I think Boy can hit it. Like they're rolling right now. Like there mm-hmm. isn't a, a a group to me that I'm saying like I'm worried about. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe some experience at tight end. And, and like, I think Oscar's played a ton this year. You know, it's, 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 if you want to get into 12 personnel, you know, who's the backup tight end, you know, mm-hmm. loss and luck. Well, and he ready. looked good. He looked good. I know, he but is he in. ready? Is he ready down this stretch? Like to me, that's the only thing tight end to Lawson. Is he ready to make plays on the football field? But receivers have answered the question. Oh, lines answered it. Running backs have answered it. Carson, I'm telling you, boys, first rounder. I know y'all gonna start chipping on that soon. <laughs> Defensive line, linebackers, DBs, like hey, everyone is answering the bell. Bro, bro what you on. doing over there, Ben? What do you say? What do you say, Ben? What do you say, Ben? You know right, what you're man. What you thinking? Thank my old line for blocking so well. I do. Right. Hey, listen, it's a team. But them boys team. don't block like that in the league. Hey, they that, gotta block that Miles little, Garrett. That little teardrop to Bell you know, though was. Whew. You know what? CT CT bring up a great point over there. Uh, Chris Taylor, I want to finish with TDs. Red zone efficiency, I think probably needs to go up for sure uh offensively if we need to if we're gonna get to where we need oh, to no. be uh we gotta score seven um, yeah. yeah we right. got we got we gotta get touchdowns so i agree Which, with that cc and that's what we well, did and, and something year. that will help the red zone is just not having to deal with red zone either connect on some of those deep balls i think that's the big thing that everyone's talking about yeah. you, if you want to correct the deep balls what you need to do go back to about 2010 to 2012 Watch the Murray 11 to 12 connection. How <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Take some notes. They'll be fine. That's all they got to do. Just That's all they got to do. I, I, will, I will say this, Aaron. You, you asked, like, if, if there was some type of, you know, concern in any area. I think, obviously, like, this was the probably the, the most well put together game we played, like, the most complete game on every phase. Mm. But at the same time, right, like, I'm a little concerned with, like, our red zone defense. I don't think um, it's been up to par consistently like it's been in the past, right? Like now we, and we can't compare this team to last year, but, but, but we know that Missouri's capable of airing that thing out and making explosive plays, mm-hmm. right? So they do get in the red zone, right? Like, can we hold them to three, to three, yeah. right? Like, can we hold them to three? Can we stop the run? If we can get them in third and seven, third and six situations, which I would consider third and long, I feel better about our chances. Six, one last thing on Florida before we move on. Um, how far behind are the Gators? Like when you guys watch the game, could you feel like they are significantly behind talent and coaching wise? I'll start with with Ben first. I think they're talented in certain spots, like uh, skill positions. They're talented, but when we weren't having to blitz and getting home, that's not Georgia's style of defense. If we're not if we haven't blitzed in the past, when we were only rushing four, we haven't gotten home. We're playing covered. So getting home with only rushing four, I think they're a little lacking in the O-line. Their bigger guys don't mm-hmm. move as well. Guys just beat him with speed around the edge. Um, I think that's their biggest. Our O-line protects better. and But skill positions, they got good running backs, some good receivers. I think they're very similar that way. But I think O-line, D-line play, we have the upper hand. And, of course, mm-hmm. we're – we have the best coach in the league. Mm. Yeah, I too. Any, 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 if you're a Florida fan, how are you guys feeling? The, the other three, any big, big thoughts about kind of taking on that thing? <laughs> uh, uh, ahead, no. but yeah, for me, honestly, I'll keep on saying it, bro. Uh, even in this game, I felt like uh, Graham Merckx made some big throws. I mean, yeah. yeah, guys were kind of wide open, but there was a couple, bro, that he kind of put it on the money. I'm like, bro, where is this? I know he's been playing well this whole season, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, before the season, I, I was not saying that. I was like, bro, this uh, he's 
trash, no one pretty much. I was saying that, bro. And uh, I feel I got to give him kudos. If I called you not so good in the beginning, I got to give you kudos for how you're playing right now. And I, I think um, in, in the quarterback with Graham Merckx, they're, they're, you know, they're doing well in that category. And then the running backs, I like the running backs as well. TK, Boykin, do you, is there a big gap or is Florida closing it right now? Uh, I mean, I think the gap's pretty, still pretty big right now. I think it's a, it's a mm-hmm. two, three-year gap. For sure, um, I think you got to get some recruits in there if you're if you're Coach Napier. Um, but that being said, they are like playing for him. Like you can see that they they play for him as opposed to the last guy. Um, you can see that they 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 really like like what he's about. And he uh, he's a, he's an offensive minded guy. As you can see, he's drawing up some good stuff. Um, as No Sean mentioned, guys were open. Um, you know, we got beat on yeah. a few slants. Um, JB, Javon Booker put a stop to one of those. Mm-hmm. Grant Grant, the Ruda kid. Uh, but yeah, man, um, I think it's a two or three year gap for sure. But but yeah. uh, I mean, you gotta think Florida is a, is probably a great destination to to play football. It's a hor- historically great school, um, football school. Um, so you gotta think that they'll eventually, you know, yeah. climb their way back up. Uh, number they three, keep him in Missouri and they lose a couple more games. They lose two or three more games. Is he here next year? Yes, uh, the yeah. buyout's too big. The buyout's too I big, think, and I he's recruiting that, uh, well. I think that I think this game really just widened the gap even more, right? Because <laughs> this is one of those games where recruits that are on the fringe they really look at it, and and so you know Kirby talked about like the difference was in recruiting. He was kind of joking, but but not really at the same time. And so <laughs> like I, I think what the thing is that like when we played, you know, obviously Florida was good, but the thing that they always had was like an uncanny speed right like the speed (laughs) like the speed was unmatched their skill players were going to be faster than anybody we play all year and and that's just not the case anymore like like these dudes don't pop out on the screen saying like dang florida got this speed and that could be a bunch of different reasons right like nil it could be like you know other schools in the state of florida are getting better whatever the reason is it's not helping them like close this gap with georgia and so um, you know, guys from Florida are coming here now, and that just didn't happen back in the day, right? Like that, mm-hmm. that didn't happen. And so for that reason, I think the gap is is getting bigger, not smaller. Yeah. Because with uh, NIL and transfer, they'll just leave now. Like mm-hmm. if they don't win, if you're good, they're go they're yeah. gone. They'll go somewhere no, they can next year, somewhere else. So All I want to chat real quick. Kevin Boy, JR, this is the coolest thing ever for real. You guys were my childhood. Uh, are my childhood watching Georgia football? Big shout out, Kevin Jr. I think to another comment from him. I have a picture I got at the mall of Brandon Boykin returning a kick, I believe, versus Kentucky in 2011. Boykin, Yee. did you return a kick in 2011? I did, yeah. Shout out, shout out to you, Kevin, Kevin Jr. Appreciate it, brother. Hey, uh, and shout out kick return, shout out special teams. Somebody said that in the chat That's as well. Right. Shout out mm-hmm. special teams, Boykin. You said that last week. Um, yeah. block, punt. Block, block punt, huge block, block punt. punt. Yeah, it was huge. So, yeah, shout out special teams always. All right, Connor in the chat. Uh, I just love how people went from Georgia plays no one. Y'all better be scared for the next three games. <laughs> the next three games, Missouri, we'll jump into that in a second. Missouri, Ole Miss, both at home, and then on the road versus Tennessee. And don't sleep on them, 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 them yellow jackets. They took down <laughs> UNC and Miami, so you better not be sleeping on Georgia Tech either. The next four games, baby. Uh, Georgia Tech may be ranked sure. by the time that, that, that we go to Atlanta. Um how would you guys rank up of, of hardest to easiest uh, notion you first of, of what's the most difficult one to obviously, like I said, the, the easiest. He one don't, he, he don't say, <laughs> no, sure. no, y'all we know, y'all oh, we know, know, we know hey, what time it is. They are, the, hey, they're proving that they're here. Um, so maybe I would say Missouri just because of that defense. I like the way they play. Um, they fly around. They do make some mistakes in on, on that defensive side that you could take advantage of though at the same time. But um, I, I think it's a group that's, you know, seasoned that had some time together, and that's they're all seniors. Well, most of them are seniors now, and they're playing well, man. They're going to be juiced up to play this game, and you, you know, I, I love that. Like you, like like one of the uh, Texas was saying that everyone was saying it's an easy schedule, but now it's going to be uh, tough going down the stretch. But every single game, like what you said, uh, Murray, every single game is going to be a tough game. Everyone mm-hmm. wants to knock off the number one people. It don't matter what their mm-hmm. record is. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying so, you can't let your guard down. Yeah, Georgia Tech's gonna be a tough one as well. So, I, I don't think they ever let their guard down because Kirby wouldn't allow that. The staff ain't gonna allow that. Mm-mm. And um, 
they're going to finish this thing out strong, but I think this next game coming up is always going to be a, a good one to watch, but they can, we can pull away if we want to. It's all about mm-hmm. us. 15 point uh, underdog is, is Missouri 15, 16, which I was a little surprised at. Uh, yeah. TK rank, rank the three of, of oh, I didn't easiest to hardest. Missouri first. Easiest Sorry, so what's, what's your other two then? No, Sean, how would you rank the next two? Uh, let me see. So Missouri, oh. then I would go. I want to say, Oh man, but man, but they'd be, they'd be playing games. <laughs> if, if, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like I, I want to say Missouri, Tennessee, Ole Miss, but you just never know, man. You just never know. Mm-hmm. And then of course Georgia Tech last, but you just never know. T, how'd you rank them? Uh, yeah, I mean, probably probably similar. I think I think all three teams are capable of 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 getting it done if they're if they play at their very very best. Um, but yeah, I would probably say Mizzou. Number one, they're cooking right now. Brady Cook mm-hmm. and, that, and that offense looks good, and they got just a lot of a lot of guys on that on that defense that have been there a while. So yeah. you would think that they kind of get it going. Um, and then I would probably I'd probably say Tennessee. Just you know the the they came to our place last year, and it's tough to play up there always. We we've, we've all done that. Um, yeah. So I would probably say them with us going there. And then, uh, and then Ole Miss, you know, Lane Train, he always got some tricks in his bag, Harry, mm-hmm. Harry Potter. So, uh, and Dart, man, we're gonna have to stop yeah. that boy. I yeah, that yeah. Jackson, Jackson Dart, Jackson Dart's kind of crazy. What you think hey. about him, bro? Yeah. I like, I love Jackson Dart, and Jukins has finally run the ball pretty well, too. He's a little bit banged up again the season. So, yeah, uh, Ben, Ben, rank him for us. <laughs> Ole Miss, I can't take it. Okay, <laughs> Ole Miss, that's off. Ole, Ole Miss, Miss first. Wow, wow. I think Tell me we're something. Go out there and handle business with Missouri. I really do. I like okay. it. I think that's going to happen. Then I'm going to go Missouri because I don't think Tennessee's good. Living here in Tennessee and having to hear it all the time, they're not <laughs> good. The, yes, the stadium's going to be loud. Whoop de do. We're going to beat them by 21. Put them mm. to sleep. They can't score. Yeah. And Hypel will be crying about the officials, crying about everything like he always does. And that's what it's going to be. We're going to beat the snot out of Tennessee. I hope they I use this as like part of the hype video right here. Oh Former Tennessee goodness. tight end. I mean, yeah, look at dressed, <laughs> as a, dressed like this, <laughs> going out Tennessee. Yeah. Please, in Tennessee, it. I will send you this clip. Please use it. It'd be in the good. monster suit. Oh, in the monster suit. Absolutely. Oh, man. Let's go. Hey, I'm with you, sweet Jones. Tell him. Hey, Boykin, what do you got? I, I like uh, I like that take that Ben had. I think, I think, um, I think we are – we we want to play Mizzou, right? Like we got we got some get back to get from last year. And so and you do think, consider like Rick in the chat says, do you consider Missouri a revenge type of game? Yeah, absolutely. Like 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 they think it's sweet, and then they gonna they they come into Athens, and so I, I think this in, in terms of threat now, like they are number one. But in terms of us being prepared, readily prepared for this game, I think we take care of business. So I think mm. this Ole Miss game will be number one for me because they they can score, right? Like they they can score, but the thing is they give them up too. So. They have 500 yards passing that game, but we, oh, boy, we, 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 we got to stop them. And, and a, lot so, of, uh, a lot of guys are gone, though, Boykin. So, I mean, you think they really – some of these guys are looking at it as a revenge game? There's a lot of new faces in there. What you think? Uh, it, just just like us. Did, did it matter when, when you were a sophomore uh, that they were Florida versus your okay. junior exam? Like, it, it, uh, it's it's the same team, and they, and they, and they, and they, and they feel like they can compete. And so okay. – you know, tomorrow, which they, we call Bloody Tuesday and, and Wednesday, they're gonna be locked in, right? Like they're okay. gonna be locked in and, and ready. And and you're not gonna you're not gonna play good if you don't if you don't practice well. And so I expect this to be on par with last week in terms of the preparedness for sure. But I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go Ole Miss, and then I'm gonna go Tech <laughs> because wow. I, I yeah. Hey but, man, oh. <laughs> chill out. <laughs> wow. Listen, though, what what happened last year at Georgia Tech? What happened last year at Georgia Tech game? We we did play sloppy. Exactly, bro. We 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 always think like it's tech, and and this mm. year's tech ain't last year's tech. And I'm not saying they're good or they're even capable of beating us, but like they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna do everything they possibly can, right? And, mm. and we just gotta keep this same mm. level of consistency. Right, Tennessee, man. I'm not worried about them either. I, I second what Ben said. Okay. Damn, y'all disrespectful, but I Damn, love it. Disrespectful. <laughs> Georgia- <laughs> I love it, dog. I mean, like, yeah. Georgia Tech may be seven and four by the time they get to Athens because Clemson is poo-poo this season. They may mm-hmm. be Clemson, for goodness sakes. 
Yeah, um, man. All right, let, let's let's move on to this weekend's game. Uh, actually, before we get to this weekend's game, the AP or not the AP poll, the playoff committee comes out with their playoff selections first round tomorrow night. If you're in the committee, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Big Monster Man, who are your top four? Rank them one through four. Uh, we'll go with 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 TK first. Oh, let's go Georgia one. Michigan, they cheating out too. <laughs> uh, damn, Ohio State maybe at four. And who they got up there right now? Man, you know what's crazy? What you think about? What you think about like a a Washington at five? Yeah, I like that. I don't like that. At five, you said though. At four, my bad. At four. Oh. four. Wait, isn't Florida State in there somewhere? Yeah, Florida State is at four. Oh, snap. Florida State got to be at four. Yeah, my fault. And then Washington at five. Damn. All right. Well, there's only four teams in the playoffs, so Washington's yeah, out. Yeah, they're gone. All right, Ben, who do you got? Give me your four. Dogs. Cheating Michigan. <laughs> I got Florida State at three. Yeah. Because they're not going to lose in the ACC. They're going to win out. They're going to be number three. And the last one right now mm. – I mm. hate Ohio State. I'm going to, have to put Washington in. Mm. Washington. Mm. Or, Ohio State don't score. This is about scoring. Washington's electric. And why not put a Pac-12? There's no Pac-12 after this year. Put one in. Yeah. It's going to be Oregon anyways when it's all said and done. They'll get revenge. No They'll be in. But, yeah, right now, Washington. Boykin, uh, what do you got? Or who hasn't gone yet? Boykin, who do you got? You're four. Uh, I, I got Georgia at one. Um, I'm going to put Michigan – I'm sorry. I think Michigan loses. I think Michigan's oh, wow. going to blow it to Penn State later in the year. Okay. Oh, you're crazy. You have not watched Penn State. They Penn suck. State ain't got a quarterback. Oh, Coach Franklin, wow. Coach Franklin, Franklin going to put it either. together up there? Yeah, I was on crazy. So it happened. Oh, I would love that. And then, uh, uh, yeah, so obviously that's going to that's gonna bump Florida State up, and then we're going to go uh, Washington, and then Ohio State. All right. Ooh. No, Sean, you're, you're, you're four as of today. Or tomorrow when this comes <laughs> nah, out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Georgia, Michigan. Um, what we say? Oh yeah, Florida State. I like Florida State up there. And then, yeah, that fourth spot. I mean, yep. Ole Miss was uh, Ole Miss. Ohio State was struggling with with freaking Wisconsin the other day. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, bro, I'm like, bro, what is going on? So I mean, I can throw them at four. I wouldn't mind Washington in there as well, or Oregon, whoever. So you could put wherever, whoever at four. All right, I'm going Georgia one. I think the win versus Florida is enough for the committee to say back-to-back champs. You had a quality win versus Florida. We'll keep you at one. Two, Ohio State, because they have the best resume of anyone in college football right now. Sure. Uh, they do. Like you have, to, you have to reward the resume. They've, they've won, and Notre Dame looks pretty damn good, so that's an impressive win on the road. Three is Florida State, another great resume. And then four is Washington, with probably the best yeah. win of the season versus Oregon. Michigan, Michigan hasn't played anyone. Why? I'm not going to re- anybody. I'm not going to reward them. You know, you put Michigan in there. You, you, you can tell this. Michigan. 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 You can, you can really it. tell this guy's on TV though. Like, <laughs> hey, like hey, hey, when Michigan, hey, when Michigan, I, 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 I believe Michigan is is the best team in the country right now with Georgia. But I'm not going to put them in the playoffs until they actually play someone. I got to see. But what, someone first. But what are you saying? They're going to lose to somebody because if they just went no, out. No, no, no. Boy, and this isn't who's going to be in at the end of the day. This is as of tomorrow when the first okay. round comes out. Who should be the top four? It's going to okay. change. Like, I what I think is going to happen is Georgia one. When it's all said and done, Georgia one, Michigan two, Oregon three, FSU four. Oregon? Like, no, 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 no. Oregon no, is balling. Uh, balling. They, they cook oh. him, but I don't think they're in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're in there either. Mm, they're good, man. All right, that's that's all of our fours. Leave your comments. Let me know who you think was right, who was wrong. Uh, all right, let's move on to this weekend. <laughs> Daniel Smith, Murray woke up and chose violence. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Murray, Murray kicked them boys all the way out the top five, man. man. Yeah, yeah, about it. yeah, yeah. They got a hey, once a hey, once they beat Penn State in two weeks, they'll be you know they'll probably be number two in my opinion. But I, I got to see it first. Okay, um, me too. I agree. Me too. All right, Missouri this weekend probably I would say the more most complete team Georgia has left because they do have a good defense. They do get a good offense. Got some weapons. Got a quarterback that's cooking right now. Your biggest concern in this game, uh, No Sean? What, what what's your what's your concern? And what do we need to be looking out for? Yeah, I'm not really. 
you know, I'm not super concerned, but if I had to be concerned about something is uh what do you this, mean? You love Missouri. How should Georgia not be concerned? You want to crown Missouri the SEC because, champ? Because, well, obviously, they really only have two players. I mean, you stop that run game with Cody, and then you stop Luther Burton. It's like, all right, well, who else is going to make the plays? You know what I'm saying? It's just they're not deep enough. You feel me? I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's more so that defense that's going to keep them in the game, I, I feel. I feel like for, for the offense, man, they're going to struggle, man. I feel like they're going to put – they're going to try to put some points on the board. But if Georgia makes them one-dimensional, all right, which way do they go? You know what I mean? Like. I'm just not really nervous about that offense that much when it comes to those two players. So, I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I would say Luther. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. He's been putting up some some big numbers. And um, once we put our pause on him, though, okay, now they got the run game. Now, you saw how Georgia has been playing up front with the front four. So, uh, I'm not that concerned. But if I had to stop someone, it would be Luther. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think I'll start Luther. Let, let's stay on that Luther topic because it is unique, Boykin, when your number one receiver is in the slot and not outside. Tyke's been having a hell of a year. Yeah. Talk about that dynamic from a de- defensive back's perspective of your nickel on the best, maybe one of the best receivers in the country, not your top corners on the outside. How does that change the game up? Yeah, I mean, that's really what football has come to, right? Like college football, NFL football, you're going to put your best – receiver in the slot and and normally your best corner your most athletic your most versatile better be able to cover in the slot and so you, you said it Taki got a lot of work last week but man he gonna he gonna get even more work this week mm-hmm. with Luke Burton. like like let's just take a second and talk like he has 900 yards mm-hmm. already yeah, 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 60, not- 60 receptions dog so they're gonna go to this man a lot and so <laughs> Um, I think Tyke is up for the challenge. I, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want anyone else in college football uh, to line up against Luther Burden it, other than Tyke if I had the choice. Like, like, well, he, and, and the good thing is you got two of the best safeties in the country that you can bracket with over the top. Like to yeah. be able to have Bullard and, and Malachi to be able to help give some support too. Like he's not going to be on an island in the slot. Do you? That's what I'm saying. You think so? Because I, I feel like I feel like the way that we're going to pressure Brady Cook is we're going we're going to be calling for a lot of. Fire zone, cover zero type mm. situation. Where he, I'm he not putting. I, I love Tyke, but I'm not putting someone on an island against that receiver in the slot. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm not saying. Him, I'm, I'm not I'm saying the entire game, support. but 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 some third and short situations, third and yeah. five, third and six. He's definitely gonna be. Man, yeah, he'll be a little bit more man. He, he, I think I think we'll see. He'll he'll probably see some bracket, but we'll have to we'll have to play some man because they do got Theo Weiss on the other side. Right. Um. We'll have no, to play. We'll have scared. to play some man. Uh, That's good at the end. But, but the, the, I, I, they got I, I Mookie. Would, Mookie no Cooper's pretty scared. good too. Uh, they, they got good players. Yeah, I'm just they not, do got good know. players. Hey, and Brady yeah. Cook is he can run now. Don't forget, like he hasn't shown yeah, his legs that much this yeah. year. Like that's that's the no. lot. He, he he showed it a little bit the last game. Has not fully done it this year because he wants to be a pocket passer. But that's always something that he is cooking as well. Uh, ben, your your concern or worry with with you know, the offense line or anything on, on, on your end. <laughs> nope. nope. Figured that would be the answer. <laughs> concerns. What's your biggest hurt overall then? I mean, we're not concerned about the offense line. You you think this team should win the damn Joe Moorhead award. So what, what's your overall concern we of this block, game? We can block anybody. If you want to rush, bring them. We're going <laughs> to pass block all day and just put them out there. Rush as many as you want. You better bring another one that we get. Because if you only rush four or five, we're going to block them. We ain't got nothing mm-hmm. to worry about. But I do want. It's Missouri. I think we should put some pressure yeah. on Brady, though. Yeah, Brady has there, been playing well. Though. Boom. Boom. Oh my goodness, he's crazy. Boom. I'm Brady's killing been Missouri out there, though. I, I mean, and he's computer, keeping his interceptions down. Oh, Missouri, they weren't yeah, even in the yeah. SEC when we were there. That's how old I am. <laughs> look, look, look. We are giving up the least amount of sacks in the SEC, right? I mean, so so mm-hmm. I, I feel you, Ben. And then and then Mizzou is giving up like what 25, 26 points a game. So. Hey, you should feel good, my boy. But 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 on my on my end, I, I need these to lock down. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got. I mean, I think that's a, a everybody's biggest concern is probably Luther Vernon, and that's and that's mm-hmm. it. Well, hey, listen, TK, I want to ask you this: if 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 they take Lad out of the game after what they saw last week, which receiver steps up? Shit, mm. take your pick. Um, Pick your, it's kind of pick your poison type of thing. I think I said it to somebody. The you other think day. Dom Lovett steps up going against his old team? Yeah. Mm. I mean, what? Well, he's, he's, he's probably chomping at the bit to get out there. And you know how Bobo is. We all know how Bobo mm-hmm. is. He's probably, he's probably drawing up something right now. First to, play, huh? To get him going. Uh, so, 
so yeah, I definitely think Dom. It could be Dom, Ra Ra, um, Oscar again uh, doing his thing. You, and and like you said earlier, we kind of want to see what Lawson can do. It would be good mm-hmm. to get him going as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think um, every everybody eats. B. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is this? What point total? Chris Taylor asked, "What what's the point total Georgia needs to reach to get comfortable? Anyone has someone in mind? I think if, I think if they get they get thirty, they'll win. I don't think Missouri scores in the thirties. Oh yeah, we, we gonna score more than thirty. That's uh, what I'm saying though. But if we score. if we get thirty, I'm, I'm just saying like, what's the minimum Georgia has to get to feel comfortable? I think Georgia scores thirty. Yeah, they, I, should, they should feel good. I think minimum twenty five. Damn. Nah. Nah, that's a little low. I say low. Your boy's locking them down. 35. 35. Um, 35 you know, oh. They're putting that bell check on oh, yeah, them. Yeah. We're gonna, whatever that darn receiver's name is, it's going to look like punk cover. They're going to double team that joker. They're going to throw it to somebody <laughs> else. He ain't catching the ball. Somebody else going to have to beat him. Right? <laughs> no doubt. Right. He ain't catching it. It's T.O.E. He's going to pull it. out the bell check. Bell check like that I'll, guy ain't going to beat All right, I'll go, 20, I'll go 28. Okay. All right. All right. Vegas has this game as a over under 56. So they're thinking it's going to be like a 35 to 20 game, something like that. Yeah. Somewhere in that, that ballpark. He's going every drive. And I was good at 24. Yeah. You were good at 24 then. You're right. Um, all right. Any, any last? Go ahead, boy. Remember uh, last week when his score prediction was who, which one of y'all said it was going to be like 33 to 31 or something? That was that was silly. Yeah, we we need to keep track and see like who was the who was the closest. I think I won last week. Me and I said I said I said forty two to seventeen. Okay, okay, that is. They said thirty five twenty one. Yeah, thirty five twenty. Yeah, I think like 40, 42 well, 17 is 43 20. So I'm gonna take that. Dub. I'll just get ready for this take. I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go right now. Point prediction, Ben. You're up first. Fifty. <laughs> Two, okay. wow, go crazy. To Seventeen. Oh, uh, he said. Uh, they 17. almost beat us last year. No, in that weird place out there, a lot of stuff can happen out there in Missouri, wherever that is. <laughs> we don't go well out there. You know what I'm talking about, TK? We don't do good out there. But they're coming down to the south, the dirty south. We're gonna mm-hmm. donkey stomp them. Donkey yeah. stomp. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All man. right, boy. Ken, what we got? Uh, I think I think we're gonna go 41 18. Mm. Okay. 41, Love 18. it. No Sean? No Sean picking Missouri to win. Yo, you OD. <laughs> <laughs> you OD. Do it. No, Don't even Sean. say that. No. Do it. <laughs> Look at him. No, he said he no. wants to. He's betting on me. I don't even I can't even talk about that because I was about to say I don't even know if I'll be upset. Of course I'll be upset. I'll be super upset. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go uh 42. Mm. 20, uh, Bro. It's like 21 or 27. Okay. Mm. Okay. Like 21 or 28. Sorry. I'm going to go that. Okay. I was, hey, listen. I stole your shine last week. You kind of stole mine. I'm going 42 <laughs> 21. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to go 35 17. Like that. 35 17. No, not okay. even. Close. Thirty-five, seventeen. All right. Well, we're going to close things up right now. If you're in the chat, we appreciate you guys joining us again tonight. Smash that like button. Share this with all your friends. We appreciate all the love and support. Had our biggest live group here this evening. Also, make sure you go check out uh, our current student athletes, Javon and, and Jackson Meeks. Just had a show that came out earlier today. Go check that out. It is freaking hilarious. They are such a great combination. Uh, tomorrow, we'll have Malachi Stark show coming out. Uh, and then Makai Muse and Jacob Hardy are shooting their show right now. So <laughs> you all swing your asses off. So go check it out. We have three current player shows this week from the Georgia Bulldogs as they talk about Florida and they talk about a little Missouri and life as a dog right now as they get ready for the back end of the schedule. And then obviously our Letterman show right now. So we appreciate all the love and support. Y'all have fun. Have a good week. And go dogs. Yes, sir. Go dogs. We still.